have you guys wanted to run Windows 11 on your machine, but it says that you guys need to support TPM 2.0 whatever and you must enable secure boot? No problem. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable both of them on a Dell machine. So, this won't work on any Dell machine, but ones which have TPM in their PC, yeah, this is definitely the tutorial for you. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so, first, you're gonna want to have your uh, PC turned off. Mine is already turned off here. So, what you guys wanna do is, when you press this power button, and after a second or two, you guys wanna start pre pressing F2 right here. So, that's what you guys wanna press before the Dell logo appears. So, let's turn our machine on then press f2 f3 or f2 it depends on your pc yeah see now this should show up so over here you guys wanna go to the security and then you guys wanna go to tpm 2.0 security and now you guys wanna have tpm on checked and make sure these three are also checked and make sure this part is also enabled now what you guys want to do is, uh, after you enable all of them, you guys want to go to your uh, secure boot, which was around, yeah, secure boot. And you guys want to expand this, and then secure boot enable, and then make sure this is checked. And now, uh, I don't think this, like, if you guys have secure boot mode, press deployed mode. And that's all you need to do. Now you guys can press the apply and then you guys could exit. Okay, so to check if your TPM is working, you guys want to go ahead and click on Windows and R on your keyboard and you guys want to type in tpm.msc and click on enter. Now, once you guys see the TPM is working fine or it's ready to use, if you see something like that, that means you guys follow my steps correctly and you have TPM enabled. One thing though, uh, the Windows 11 update in your settings may take 2 or 3 days because you enable the TPM and after the 2 or 3 days, Windows will be ready to upgrade Windows 11 in your settings. But if you guys are too impatient, you guys can go to the Windows 11 download page and download the Windows 11 installation assistant and then you guys can download Windows 11 from there as well. So hopefully that helped you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course happy new year and i'll see you guys in the next one